This is the back end of my channel here inside YouTube Studio. Notice anything slightly alarming here? If you said, oh, geez, there's a real big cliff there on that revenue graph, Meredith, in the last 90 days, good eye. You got it. In fact, as I went to go record this video today, I noticed I've been graced again by the notification in the back end of my channel. Ads have been limited on one or more of your videos due to invalid traffic. So let's talk about it. Real quick PSA, this video is pretty long and slightly unhinged in some parts, but I did bleep out the swearing. So let's roll. If you're new here, my name is Meredith and I'm here to help you look good, sound good, and feel good on camera so that you can build your online business with YouTube. And I don't want this video to scare you away from YouTube because honestly, YouTube is the most powerful way to build your audience online. However, there is this weird invalid traffic problem. It's not a bug according to YouTube themselves. And I don't really want to be talking about this, but I feel like I have a lot of followers and a lot of clients, customers, audience members who are working your buns off to create valuable content on YouTube. And this may affect you at some point. It probably will affect more and more channels as time goes on because it doesn't seem like YouTube is really doing anything about it. So I feel strongly compelled to let you all know. The situation. So back in the middle of August, I was laying in bed. I opened up YouTube studio and I noticed that uh, on August 12th, I had this big revenue drop off. I thought it was a glitch. Uh, I reached out to a couple of my YouTube creator friends in our group chat and said, Hey, anyone else seeing like a weird drop in your revenue? And they all said theirs looks totally fine, totally normal and sort of reassured me like so many people have. RPM fluctuations are normal. And I was like, yeah, but the cliff, that doesn't look normal. So after a few days of this, I started to get really worried, like like something was really wrong with my channel. And I recalled that I had gotten this notification, but I couldn't remember exactly what it was because I hit dismiss initially. I hit dismiss because when I looked up what, what does this mean? What does invalid traffic mean? It gave me all of these like sort of scenarios that I wasn't doing or participating in, like um, letting my videos just play and play and play to rack up views, to rack up ad revenue or deliberately clicking on ads to rack up my own ad revenue or hiring people to do that for me or having some sort of a bot do that for me. I wasn't doing those things. So I assumed this was a glitch. YouTube will fix it. And that was a month and a half ago. So 10 days after the revenue being as low as it was, I really thought it was only my channel. I thought there was something wrong with my channel. And because it had been, you know, over a week, I thought this is not fixing itself on its own. So I reached out to YouTube support through the chat in the, you know, creator studio. And I have the transcript from that whole conversation. They told me our systems detected invalid traffic on your video, um, which means that it's traffic that doesn't come from a real user or from a user with genuine interest. They can't tell me what specific video it came from. They told me it could be automated or incentivized traffic from third parties, traffic boosting services, friends or contacts, letting playlists of your videos run all day long, or announcing to your viewers that they should watch or click through on ads and certain videos to boost ad traffic. I wasn't doing any of those things. So I, I told them, uh, so how? Like, so how do I get it back then? Because I'm not doing those things. Um, they gave me some tips to prevent invalid traffic, avoid partnering with untrusted parties. Don't click on your, the ads on your videos. Don't encourage people to click on ads, but no worries. Since you mentioned that you haven't done any of those things, um, they told me to fill out this form 
for any suspicious activity, give them as many details as possible. I explained again, I don't have any suspicious activity. There are no like spikes in my traffic or my views or like anything. There's no suspicious activity. There's just a notice that I did something wrong and they assured me just go ahead and uh, fill out that form on the 22nd of August, which is over a month ago at this point. And I naively thought they were going to take care of it. Like they were going to figure it out. The end of August, beginning of September was a pretty busy time for me. I had family in town. We had a family wedding. And like literally the next day I left for Sweden. And it wasn't until I was on my way home on September 9th, I was sitting at my gate in LaGuardia for an airplane that never ended up taking off. But that's a story for another day. And I, I was bored. So I opened up Twitter or X or whatever it's called. And I realized there's a whole bunch of people talking about this invalid traffic issue. And it wasn't just me. And this one guy from PNUK.com, I think his name is Paul, he compiled a list of affected channels. Right now it's at 174 channels. The highest one being somebody with over 2 million subscribers. Um, this gal here, Tasia, has been very vocal about this on Twitter and then also has a great video kind of um, explaining it. Um, also, Lon from Lon.tv has a video. If you do a search for this on Twitter or on YouTube, you're going to find a bunch of videos talking ab about this exact thing. So I reached back out to YouTube support on September 11th because that's sort of like the one month anniversary of this whole thing kind of starting on the channel. And I asked some more sort of targeted questions that I knew they wouldn't have an answer to, but I wanted, I just wanted to see what they were going to say. And I wanted them to escalate the situation. You know, like it's been a month, nothing has changed. Can we escalate this? Can we get some more eyes on this? Can you help me out here? Can YouTube support offer some YouTube support. But still, I got these like infuriating responses like, you know your content best, Meredith. Please refrain from making the same mistakes again. Please refrain from making the same mistakes again. <sighs> the logic here is not logical. Since I am complying, since I've always been complying, then it should have never happened to begin with. I said to this person, do you understand you're telling me that I've sent fraudulent traffic to my channel and I have told you that I have not done so, have never done so, after being a consistent creator on YouTube, your system is effectively saying, we don't believe you. And they responded, yes, we understand your sentiments. On the other hand, your chat support team is not the review team. So basically, they're like, don't be mad at us. So since I appealed using the form, they said, simply wait for an answer, which I still don't have. I still don't have an answer. And at this point, I was just trying to bug the ever loving shit out of this person to get them to say, she's not around. We should help her out here. We should probably help her out. I was really hoping they would be like, I can't talk to you anymore. Go talk to my manager. So that was uh, two weeks ago. And as you can see, nothing has changed. It's all the same. And the most infuriating thing of all of this is my views are up. My watch time is up. My subscribers are up. And my revenue is like 75% lower. But since I have this little notice here, let's just open up a new chat right here, right now. Now, while I chat with this person, I want to talk about how there have been some theories floating around. Uh, Lon, Tasia, some other people have posted some uh, uh, like the best that from their research and what they're finding, what they think is really going on here. My takeaway from everything I've seen is just like, there's really nothing that can be done except to wait. Wait for the system to deem your channel uh, worthy of having your content actually generate <laughs> revenue and just you know, your RPMs come back with little to no explanation from support at all. Many, many, many people have reached out to YouTube support on Twitter, reached out to um, Renee Ritchie, the YouTube liaison on Twitter, and his response has essentially been the same as what YouTube support 
response has been, which is like, it's the system, it's not a bug, and you just you just have to like wait for it to come back. And there is some debate from you know other channels who uh, you know have been sort of hit with this before and are kind of like. It's just the nature of the beast. You got to wait it out. And honestly, I'm I'm surprised that more people aren't completely infuriated by this because there is zero conversation, zero information. There is no working with the creators to figure out what the real problem is because of the lack of, of actual details and the complete refusal to work with these creators who are having this problem on their channel. So instead of working with us and, and, and having a conversation, we're just being told, well, stop, stop breaking the rules. Stop sending the invalid traffic and, and, and your revenue will come back. It's incredibly demoralizing and really offensive. Like, tell me what video this is happening on. Tell me when it started happening. There are a few people, a few creators who have correlated this happening, this invalid traffic problem happening to having their channel do like a little better than normal just before this, which is the same thing that happened for me. I had a video about the Rode Streamer X that did pretty well. I mean, it got out to more people than like a typical video would for me, which was totally expected because it was kind of a hot topic, like a niche within a niche within a niche kind of a hot topic. Um, but like I expected that and that's what happened. I got, I got a little more traffic and then I was hit with this. Like YouTube, you're sending the traffic. Like you realize you are the one that's sending the traffic to my channel. Like people search for things, they find my videos, they watch them. You suggest things in the algorithm, people click my video, they watch it. You put my videos on the homepage, people watch it. Like you, YouTube is sending the traffic. Like, do you, do you understand, do you understand why when, when we hear things from Renee Ritchie, YouTube liaison, who says this is not a bug, it kind of looks like a bug. It kind of does because the traffic is coming from YouTube. Like if your system is so advanced and so sensitive that it can detect it, why can't you stop it? Why can't you detect the IP address it's coming from and say, you can't watch videos anymore for this IP address because we think this is a spam, uh, a spam situation happening. You created this. How do you not have the tools to stop it? Look, if you have a video that does really well or you have a, a couple of months where you're like getting a little more views than normal, that should not send red flags to the system. So Irina is telling me, upon checking, I can confirm the notification is still there on your channel because our systems can still detect invalid traffic. This will be resolved as soon as invalid traffic is no longer detected. It's your responsibility to moderate the activity on your channel. To moderate activity on your channel, you may feel free to remind your viewers on the kind of activity that is not helpful when growing your channel. Rest assured, our teams are working hard to improve and we're looking for ways to make situations affected by invalid traffic better. Can you see how infuriating this is? It, it, the traffic is coming from YouTube. Like YouTube is YouTubing and then red flagging me for, <laughs> for YouTubing. Like what? So this is my official uh, reminder, plea, notification, okay? If you happen to be watching my videos just to drive up ad views, ad revenue, or you're clicking on shit that you don't need to be clicking on because you think it helps me out somehow, it doesn't. So stop. Now, obviously, I don't think that's the problem. And I don't think, I don't think it would be appropriate to blame you for this problem. Just like it's not appropriate for YouTube to blame me for this problem. I had to go get a fresh cup of coffee. Even though I've, I've already pretty much gathered from YouTube support and from what other people have said who have had their RPMs come back up, it's just a wait and see and be patient type of a thing. Some people have had their RPMs down for two months and then they go back up 
at the, like the two month mark on the dot. Some people it's been three months. Other people have been like up and down since November, 2022. I don't have much hope that there's actually something that I'm going to be able to do to actually fix the problem, but I'm going to fill this form out for a third time, but I'm going to ask ChatGPT for help this time. So here's what I asked ChatGPT for. Um, I need help filling out this form. Basically, here's the situation. And um, I'm, I'm giving ChatGPT like the answer in my words to the first paragraph. And ChatGPT is very thoroughly writing a really well-written paragraph explaining the situation to fill out that first question in this invalid clicks form. And then second question, same thing, assuming the general answer is none. Please answer the following question with the intent of getting the most favorable uh, response from YouTube staff in return. And it gave me this paragraph. So I'm now going to submit this invalid clicks contact form for uh, the third time. I'm not going to hear back before I publish this video. I'm not going to hear back at all, probably. But if anything changes, if I if I get everything like reinstated or if I hear back, I will probably just post a comment below this video. Or if anything crazy happens, I'll just post a whole new video. I'm also going to ask ChatGPT to help me craft a post for my YouTube community page where I can somehow like nicely, how do you nicely accuse people of doing that? And, and, and and also ask them to stop. I mean, that's basically what YouTube is doing to me and to everyone else who's having this problem. This is actually pretty funny, but I'm going to have to edit it just a little bit. I, I honestly, I don't want to accuse people of doing something that they're not doing. With a little bit of help from ChatGPT and some finessing on my end. This is so awkward and weird. Let me know in the comments if you actually saw this. Because I want YouTube to be able to see like... Oh, she's she is trying to do something about this. I don't think they care. But the third thing uh, that I'm going to, you know, quote unquote, do or or, or not do really um, at, at this point is obsess over it. Honestly, every time I have thought about making this video, I start to take some notes and I just get matter and matter at the whole situation. And um, I don't want to create a video where I just show up and like bitch about YouTube. I don't, I don't want to create a video that in any way discourages people from publishing content on this platform because there is no more powerful platform for, for growing an audience than YouTube. Um, at least when it comes to video. I mean, I think TikTok is pretty powerful, but I don't, think creating short form content like in the long run long term it's just another hamster wheel just like twitter and instagram and facebook and and youtube has the longevity uh that i that i think is the most powerful if you have an online business and you want to grow your audience organically and so i don't want to scare people away from youtube but i also think that if you create content that adds value to the platform and they have a model designed to share revenue with you because you're adding value to the platform, th this is a problem that they should fix. AdSense revenue is not my only revenue stream, obviously, of course. And that's another like sl slightly less infuriating um, sort of sentiment that I see on Twitter from people like, well, yeah, but you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket or, you know, you need to diversify your revenue stream. Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you for mansplaining um, multiple revenue streams to me. Like, that's super helpful. It's like if I cut my hand off and you said, well, you know, I mean, use your other extremities. <laughs> What are you complaining about? Like I said, I, I, I don't want to be fired up about, I don't want to be angry at YouTube. And so I'm going to, I'm going to publish this video and then I'm going to let it go because the, the truth of it is the fact of it all is I'm not interested in building a YouTube channel. I'm, I have a business. My YouTube channel drives traffic to my business. And I'm interested in helping other people make YouTube drive traffic to their business. And all of the AdSense revenue, you can have it, you can keep it. But don't accuse me of sending fake clicks and fraudulent views um, to my own YouTube ads. <laughs> like, it's so stupid.
stupid. So if ever a case could be made to create your own revenue streams, I'm saying create your own digital product, course, program, offer a service, consulting, one-on-one, any type of offer that you have full and total control over, regardless of the platform that you're on. If ever the case could be made for that, it's this, it's now. And it's interesting that this whole invalid traffic thing came about at the exact time in my business, in my journey as a creator, that I am either starting a new channel talking about using YouTube to drive traffic leads and sales to your own offers, or possibly, and probably the direction I'm going to go is actually start a, a like a series or a playlist on this channel on infusing YouTube into your online business to drive traffic leads and sales to your own online offers. Like I was planning to do that. I've been planning to do that for a couple of months. And so the fact that YouTube is like saying sayonara to my ad revenue, it just helps me make the case for that. So thank you, YouTube, for screwing me over. Because look, if you're still watching this video, (laughs) thank you for sticking around. Let me know in the comments that you made it this far. But last week inside Thriving Creator Society, I did this whole masterclass on mastering your metrics. But while I was putting those slides together and also at the same time, trying not to be mad at YouTube for this whole invalid traffic thing, I did a little bit of math because one of the things that I did earlier this year was I set up what I call a set it and forget it YouTube funnel on my channel. So I have a course called, uh, what is it called? 30 Days to a Thriving YouTube channel. It's priced, I think, very affordably for what all is inside of it. And in the five months that I've had that implemented on my channel, it has generated $8,500 that it wasn't making before. So I've added $8,500 to my revenue directly from YouTube. It's not ad revenue. It's not affiliate revenue. It's revenue on a product that I have complete control over. And so the RPM on my YouTube channel was $10. That means before the crash, before the crash of August 12th, 2023, I was generating $10 for every thousand views on my overall channel. Now, since the crash, the average is three. But per thousand views of the one video, set it and forget it, YouTube funnel on my channel, per thousand views, my RPM is 2,856. This is why once I publish this video, I'm not going to give a shit about the ad revenue fiasco. Why would I care about $10 per thousand views when I could just be creating more content that generates $2,856 per thousand views. And that's what my YouTube infusion series that I'm going to be starting on this channel is going to be all about, is helping you do that. This. If you're into that, stick around. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss the whole YouTube infusion series that I'm about to drop on this channel. I guess that's all. Thanks for watching. And um, stop sending invalid traffic to my channel. (laughs) I know you're not doing that.